Good morning, Angora. What are you doing, girl? Have you seen sunshine this morning? Huh? Have you seen sunshine this morning? What's up, Sonny? Oh my gracious. Let's go do some chores. And not only chores, we are going to try to finish up on the chicken coop all the hardware cloth that needs to be installed. That is our main goal for today. Uh, get the door up, get the hardware cloth on, get the hardware cloth on the windows. We'll be good to go. So as soon as I get through doing the chores, we're going to head out to the 40, which is our new 40 acre farm. Have several people asking about that. And I am flying solo this morning on the chores because Mrs. Cockhill had to run to town and go do some things. So I'm going to handle all the chores today. I think me, Nugget, Peaches, Scott, Thomas, we can handle it. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking I'm gonna ride the bike down yonder. What's up guys? Yeah. What y'all think about the bike? The farm bike. Nugget. Nugget, what you think about the farm bike? Think you ride on the handlebars? Where'd the sheriff go? Hey, Lava, give me a ticket. Was I speeding? Don't give me no ticket, man. Come on out. Let's see if he may not come out. Cause I parked the, I parked the farm bike right over there. So he may not, let's see. Maybe he will, maybe he will. Nope. Going straight for, you know what, my boots. Look, do you know that Carl over there at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, he don't like boots. Go figure. You figure that one out. But he, but he does like water. Come check that bike out, man. That bike's kind of scary, ain't it, Nugget? <laughs> ha! I am flying solo this morning. Y'all think I can... Goodness, y'all think I can handle it? I know it's the alarm system. It's fairly quiet this morning. Yeah. For those wondering about Ida, Hurricane Ida is as of today, and it's about a day and a half out. There's ACDC right there. What's up, buddy? It appears on the recent projections that we will be we'll be okay. I'm sure we'll get some rain. But that's gonna be about it, I believe. Hey girl, that's the mosaic. She is a really, really odd chicken. It's got like black legs, um electric blue ears. She's not gonna let me see her. Oh, we're having doing banjos in here with the roosters. What's happening in here? With all the polishes. Y'all look good at that. You're wondering about the goats. Mrs. Cockill fed them on her way out. So we're not worried about the goats. All right, cantaloupe. Let's get your pool cleaned out. Ugh. How in the world y'all get this thing so dirty every day is beyond me. I got a feeling Mrs. Cockill cut the alarm system off this morning. That's why they're not making any noise. Alright buddy, let's go get the poo. Nugget, I need help with that poo. Come on buddy. Here come my pool help. Nugget's my pool boy. Hey, pool boy. My pool boy ain't wanting to get in the pool. All he wants to do is clean my boots. ACDC. 
What do you think about Nugget wanting to do nothing but clean my darn boots all the time now? No comment. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit, buddy. All right, let's get your guys' waters now. We will be starting on the paddock soon, too. All the pastures for the animals. I'm trying to figure all that out, so... Hopefully soon I'll have that figured out. I have to draw it out, figure out exactly where we want to put everybody. Exactly how much room do we have? I got lots of room, just putting everybody in the same general location. Also coming up, the site guys are supposed to come this week. So our house pad and where we're gonna place our house should be finished sometime this week if the weather, you know, acts right. I'm hoping old Ida just fizzles on out and don't affect nobody. Cause don't nobody need that kind of mess. Uh oh. The boss lady's here. Do you have it covered? Yeah, I got it covered. I'm so glad you do. I got it covered. I'm so glad. Well, thanks for feeding the goats and alarm system on your way out. But the rest of it I got. That's well. You know, we work together. That's, That's right. That's how we get it done. Did you get what you need at the store? I did. All right. You ready for something to eat? I am ready for some breakfast. I got to check on the hook bill, Thomas, and uh, check the silkies, and we should be good. All right. Got a few more things. Oh, there's Corny. What's up, Corny? What's up, buddy? Corny is a cream leg bar rooster. What is awesome about cream leg, leg bars not only do the roosters look just magnificent, but the females lay blue eggs. Awesome chickens. Plus, he's, he's a pretty cool fella. Here we go. Ruby and Rhonda, the PITs. What's up, ladies? Huh? Y'all want to help me finish up with the chores? Because y'all sure can. Let's grab our gorilla cart full of waters and let's go give everybody some waters. Ain't that right, PITs? I know we got a lot of new viewers and probably want to know what does PIT stand for. Well, turkeys are very curious animals. And when the females aren't breeding, and I think breeding season's over because they've been following me like a shadow. They're very inquisitive, and we call them PITs for short because Mary Cross started calling them private investigating turkeys. So that's what PIT stands for. I'm gonna come back and get y'all's hay, buddy. Haven't haven't showed you guys Venus the hook bill in a long time, but that is it right there. See how the, her bill hooks down? Now that's one of the men in black in front of her. But that is Venus the hook bill. This is a very rare breed. Uh, a fan sent us some hatching eggs, and Venus is the only one that hatched. They are hard to hatch, and that is Venus. Isn't she beautiful? And she's got that, you see how that Muscovy's bill straight. The, um, the, the Indian runner, which is the man in black right there, his bill is straight, but you notice that hook bill, how his bill hooks down. Let's see if she'll give us a good shot of She's a little timid, I don't want to scare her. See it? See how Bill hooks down? Isn't that cool? So, so cool. At one time, this was an extremely popular breed for the eggs until domesticated breeds started to come uh, mainstream. And this one just phased out. Uh, very rare, not a whole lot of them left. <laughs> and speaking of, what did I just talk about? PIT crazy looking good Tommy looking good look at him strutting look at Thomas strutting and bluey I don't know what that one's name is they don't even don't even ask me because I don't know I know bluey and I know Thomas everybody knows Thomas hey guys we're getting close almost finished with the new coop 
about to start on the paddocks. Um, we got shelters for everybody, I believe. Won't be long. We're gonna be in that new that new farm. You guys will be in your new home. All right, I just grabbed their feed and water. Get Thomas and them fixed up. Speaking of new coop, there were some concerns that came up or some questions that people had asked. First was the expanded metal that we're using, the steel floor. Would it cause bumblefoot where their feet fall through it? So there was a lot of questions about that steel floor. And, uh, the floor is very, very smooth. We're, we said in the video we're going to come back with a rhino liner and paint it over it with it. Um, if you don't know what rhino liner is, it's the stuff that you put in the bed of a pickup truck. Uh, the gaps are very small so small that their feet are not going to fall through or their feet are not going to get damaged. I think people thought of maybe like a metal wire or a metal mesh. This is not like that. This is a, this is a steel expanded metal floor. Also one concern was uh, what about winter? Well we have very very mild winters here. If y'all don't know I mean our big coop now right there as y'all know it's open on three sides. Um, we just don't have an issue with winters here. Our coop before that was almost completely open. So I'm not too much worried about either one of those. But let's just say, worst case scenario, that the floor is uncomfortable to the chickens and it's going to be cold and too much of a draft there. Well, if that's the case, guess what? We should put some shavings down on the floor. So we're good. So I think we're going to be just fine. And I had done some research on expanded metal floors in chicken coops before we went ahead and did that. And plus two, don't forget, that is just a place where our chickens will go sleep at night on the roost and the ladies will go in and lay their eggs in the nesting box. Otherwise, they'll be outside enjoying the sun and the grass. Still ain't got you guys hay, have I? Y'all don't fire me. Don't fire me. I got Tommy's food and the hook bill's food, so don't fire me. What's going on, Scott? Scott, I think you officially have lost all your tail feathers, buddy. I believe all your tail feathers are gone. I see them. Look at them all on the ground. Y'all look at this. Y'all see all them tail feathers? Oh, Scott. But the good thing, Scott, is your tail feathers will be back even more beautiful next year. <laughs> Gotta look on the bright side. Cup's half full. I'm coming, Tommy. You laid out, ain't you, Tucker? Rough night? You and Peaches didn't stay out all night, did y'all? Cause Peaches still sleeping too. Mm-hmm. Done told on yourself. Done told on yourself. That's why she ain't down here pressing me to get these chores done, like get this hay put out for these goats. She stayed out all night partying, her and Tucker. I don't know what I'm gonna do with y'all. Girls, girls. All right, girls, Fifi and Capri. What's up, beautifuls? Is that even a word? It is today, ain't that right? <laughs> I'm good at making up new words. Look at Jojo waiting on me over there, standing on that fence. Jojo! I'm coming, Joe. I'm coming, Joe. I'm coming, buddy, would you? Hey. Where you at, Tipper? What's up, Tipper? What's up, Tip? My man, Joe. And look, there is Topper, the Magnificent, right behind me. Y'all gotta scoot over now. Just wanna give y'all some inside information. But I feel like y'all's new go pad will be happening very soon.
Don't tell the girls. It's just between us. I think that's it, guys. I think I've got it all done. Whew. It is humid this morning. Man. I am. I'm soaking wet. I ain't gonna lie. It's, whew. I left my bandana up at the house. All right. I'm gonna get on the farm bike. Head up to the house. Probably gonna change my shirt. The idea is when you got a wet shirt on you. To, at least for me, it gets on my nerves. Look at laying down, y'all. Look at that. Everybody's just... Did you go out last night, too, with Tucker and Peaches? Oh, my gracious. I don't know what I'm going to do with these people around here. Well, it looks like chicken coop today may be iffy. It is thundering, sprinkling now. The radar looks kind of sketchy. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we can get the hardware cloth put in the windows. Arlo, can you go call the weatherman? Huh? Tell him to hold up on this weather. We got chicken coop to build, right? Hmm. Well... It is raining pretty good. Hope it clears up soon. Gotta work on that. Cool. All right, so the rain has now lit up somewhat. You can see it's getting cloudy over there. So maybe we can get some windows done. Hopefully we can get some windows done. I gotta go grab the cooler. How many windows do you think we can get done? Five. <laughs> I like your thinking. <laughs> All right, to get everybody caught up, this is the utility trailer that we're turning into a chicken coop or a mobile chicken coop. And we have put the new floor in. We have started on our back wall. It's gonna hold a door. And these are the window cutouts that we're fixing to put hardware cloth on. Oh, we're, we're gonna notch it out for the... No, it's going on the outside. Oh, that's right. Somebody gotta keep you straight. That'll work, won't it? That'll work. Do I need to make them a little longer? No, no, the link's fine. I'm wondering. What do you think about this? What do you think about if we were to use one of those screws? Uh-huh. And screw it. Cut this notch out. Screw it from here. Take the cutoff wheel and cut that outside off. It don't matter. Whatever you want to do. Or do you want to order some pot rivets? I don't care. Whatever you think's best. Can we try that one time? And then we can put the trim on the outside? Trim's gonna go on the outside, but we can make it as tight as we want it to on the outside. I think it'd be tighter on the outside, don't you? Do you? Because we just won't have no way to fasten it right around here. If we do it from the inside. Well, I, mean, I would it, love Only to do if it we the cut inside. it right there. Cut it right there, cut it right there, slide it down. Uh -huh. That'll be our lip that we do it on. Uh huh. Know what I'm saying? You wanna try a piece on the inside and see what happens? We can, because I think. If we can get a screw in it right here mm -hmm. and right here mm -hmm. on this thing, mm -hmm. this piece, mm -hmm. then we're good. I think let's try a screw because that would be easiest. Because yeah, we just do 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 uh -huh. We won't have to pre drill. Dun, 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 dun. We won't have to rivet. We and won't. we can just crank the generator at one time. Yeah. And I can just cut them off on the outside. Right. And we don't have to cut them off until we put the trim up because right. we'll be up there anyway. Mm hmm. Right, I think that's pretty darn good. That's gonna work. And now we need to put one right here because that's the corner of the window. If you yeah. got enough room, and we might want to come back and shoot it with the rivets. We'll look and see. I think I can get a screw in it, but we can look. We'll look and see. We'll put some one right it there. It needs to be one right there, one right there, one right here, one, one right, right here, here, and then two in the middle. Voila. Well, that really tightened it up. I figured it would. Golly. 
It's like a guitar string. That what you want? Play some music. Play some music. We can't play no music. Well, we're not musically inclined. But you know who he is? Who? Tammy at the Flying Peach. Ain't that something? She, I don't want to butcher this, but she has been nominated for a musical award. For gospel music. For gospel Christian music mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. Because we just found out about it last night. Yeah, and it said that only 3% of nominees that are submitted actually qualify yeah. for the run-in for this award. And it's they like get the to Josie go to Josie Award. Yeah, the Josie like, Award. Mm -hmm. They get to go to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, to go to find out who the overall winner is. That's awesome. Way to go, Tammy. Way to go, Tammy. Last one. Last one. Don't fall through. <laughs> I almost did. Too. So we gotta make a little repair back here. That's all right. That's all right. We can handle that. Right. I'm beginning to think there's nothing we can't handle. That was a bold statement. <laughs> As I pointed the scissors at you. We love. Uh, it may not be perfect. It's perfect for me. Uh, you know what though? What? I think this is what people like about us. We're quirky. Our stuff's quirky. It's not perfect. It's imperfect. And we make it work even though we don't know what we're doing when we yeah. set out. I always tell everybody in my videos, there's a disclaimer. I'm not a carpenter or a machinist or anything. I'm just a good old country boy and uh, just tries to figure things out. Well, I follow right along with you. I don't know what my title is, but... The country girl. Hmm, okay. <laughs> it's worked out so far. And we're on window number... Five. Five, and that's all it has. And it's steadily thundering. It is, but that's okay. It feels but good outside. It does feel good outside. And since we redesigned this and we're doing it from the inside, that makes it even better. If it does rain, it won't be the end of the world to us. Alright, you want to get your screws? I'm so excited now, I'm ready to get to the door. <laughs> we're fixing to get to the door. I know it. We are about to get to the door. Alright, window's done. We are window's done, done with done. hardware cloth and windows. Look at that. I mean, it is just fantastic. Didn't it turn out wonderful? I mean, it turned out great. It could not be better. So I know the screws are sticking on the other side. We I know that. We but we're going, we're going to take the cutoff wheel and cut them off and grind them down. And we should be fine. I am perfectly fine with that. And me and you were just talking while we were working on the windows. How much better we think this coupe is than the one that we permanently built at the regular car kill. I don't know if we're getting better or if we just... Uh, know that this design is going to be better for the long run. I, I just like this little coupe. I, I say little. It's a I big think coupe. it's really cool. Alright, let's get busy. On, well, I won't tell you what. I gotta take a water break. Then, Do you, got, you got a piece of aluminum. Be careful on uh, your eye. There you go. You got it. I had and, my glasses on the yeah, entire time. Yeah, we had our glasses on. Um, I gotta have a water break. Then we'll get started on the door. I woke up in the middle of the night Open my eyes and my own mind I'm dreaming, dreaming. It is trying to come a storm on us Hopefully We can get this thing finished Before it comes Now take your time We don't want to have to do it twice Just take your time First don't give me no fight There's only one thing in the middle of the night Y'all check it out, check it out, check it out. Doors up, windows in. Fixing out to cut things a little short cause the storms are brewing. It is fixing to come down, but happy as I can be. Ran over a piece of paper. Happy as I can be though about this. This is so awesome, so awesome. Plenty of ventilation in here. I know a lot of y'all are worried about the open floor and the openness of it. In wintertime, we just don't have harsh winters here. We have super mild winters. We have to worry about ventilation and keeping animals cool versus keeping them warm. And worst case scenario, if it did get super, super cold, every now and then, every once in a blue moon, we'll get a... a, a day or night in the teens and if that's the case we can hang some heat lights in here so they'll be good 
I mean, it is crazy. Y'all can see it way off over yonder. All the way around us. Woo, big lightning. Big lightning. Oh, man. 